So this is the uh, the Marauding Farm, getting about 50 gold per hour. Essentially what you're doing is you're, you're running through, you can skip basically everything. Well, you can skip all trash. You do Tinkerer, and he drops usually something worth about 3 gold. Um, and the reason you want to do him is because if you don't do him, you're going to end up getting instance cap. Because you'll have sub 10 minute runs. So you do him and the runs come up to about, well, between 10 and 12 minutes, which is better at least. So you can go vendor, maybe once an hour. You set your hearthstone in uh, Nigel's point, which I keep forgetting to do. So essentially you just run through the dungeon like this. You do Tinkerer when you get to him. And then you run back out and you do Princess. Or back up, I guess it is, because he's down the bottom. And you do Princess and show you how you do Princess as well. And right now we're doing uh, a cell run. So essentially that means the, uh, the rogue that we're with. He's low level, but he's here to get the Blackstone Ring and potentially his Thrash Blade. He's going to run there now in stealth, and I'm going to go do Tinkerer. And uh, you can you can charge varying amounts depending on the server. I'm charging 25G at the moment. Um, so I end up getting probably like one ring an hour. More if I'm lucky. Um, and then... So I make 25 gold from that, and then about 25 gold from selling blues. is Tinkerer. He basically has a ranged attack, uh, a bomb, and some like flamethrower shit. What ring drops? So the, the ring is Blackstone Ring. It's the best in slot ring for rogues and warriors, pre-MC. I think even after MC, I'm not sure when it gets replaced. Come on, buddy. So yeah, that's the ring that we're going for. It's about 20% drop. Between 15 and 20%, I'd say, from experience. So after this guy, I'm going to switch back to my other wand, because this wand is nature damage, and Princess is immune to nature damage. And we want to get some wand hits off on her as well, just as like a bonus. This is actually the worst drop you can get off this guy. This is the cheapest one. And uh, yeah, if you're doing a cell run, you can also do uh, the croc at the bottom rock grip. But he's quite hard to solo with current gear as a priest. I believe you can solo him as a Warlock though. This, this run works with Warlocks and Hunters too. Probably slightly better, but as long as you're hitting the 12 minute marker and not less, then it's, or, or not more I guess, then having more damage and being able to clear it quicker doesn't really add anything. Other than being able to kill Rock Grip and Shadow Priest solo. These are, yeah, Shadow is a little bit better than Disc. I'm doing his Disc right now because I CBA respecking. So essentially it's about trying to balance keeping pain up, but keeping yourself alive, and keeping your mana up. So try and keep in mind the 5 second rule when you're casting stuff. She throws these boulders that stun you, they can miss, if you're lucky. She fears, okay I just got very fucking unlucky, Jesus Christ. She's gonna just desperate prayer up, and then she does this, um, this AoE stomp. So we're just going to keep running, and mostly you're going to be killing her with pain. Um, that was pretty much the most unlucky we could get. I should have had field on myself, really. She took ages to do her stomp and pre feared me. Uh, and I believe she has an aggro reset on either the stomp or the fear. There's something that resets her aggro. I'm not sure exactly what yet, though. But I usually have the, the melee that's with me attack her after this. And just go ham on her. Might have been a mistake. Okay, that's not too bad. Hopefully this misses. I think we're still okay though. We're just gonna keep some range. I've got this enchant on boots, which makes a huge difference. Um, if you don't have that, it's gonna be a lot harder. It's doable, but it's harder. And the boulders, you can lost them. You can range them. They're 40 yard range.
So the stomp is sort of a cooldown ability. Um, so you need to take care with it not to um, go in range of her too soon after she uses it. So, like you can proc it with the barrel, barrel peasant calls as well. So I'm using those now because she's it's getting a bit too close for comfort. They don't do much damage, but they proc a proc a stomp. So it's handy in emergency. So you see she's like kind of meleeing me. So when she actually hits me, she's gonna do like all the melee damage at once and hit me for like half my life. Probably coming soon. Okay, it wasn't too bad. I had a shield up as well, so. And then at about 5.5k health, I believe, she starts running slower. And then you basically killed her. It's pretty free from there on out. She doesn't fear very often, to be fair. She's pretty done though at this point. Gets in with the last minute fear. It's just paying to be safe rather than mind blasting. And that's pretty much it. And we got the ring. Awesome. Good drops. Congrats, dude. We got the, the Dirk, which is a nice 350. 25 gold for the ring. And he gets his Thrash Blade as well in the quest. And uh, yeah, this is my gear. Not all of it is optimal, but uh, yeah, we don't need that much. I got about 250 damage. Could probably get more, but it's do for now. Gold is going very nicely now, today, compared to yesterday. Alright, let's go. I'm pulling. Bottom. And uh, he already got the boots last run. Got those. And then we just reset um, by logging out and giving somebody outside of the dungeon leader. So uh, we're going to try it with um, with you standing in this corner over here, and uh, I'll kill Princess. It's like the Princess room is like to the south. You can kind of see it over here, but you need to come and stand down here and uh, like in this corner. I'm going to kill this Hydra for me. You'll just stand here and wait, and I'll go to Princess and Slayer. And ideally, I'll be able to master loot the ring to you. Apparently, that's what's, what other people have been doing with lower levels. But it should uh, make it easier than, than having you run through as a low level um, and potentially aggroing stuff, which can be annoying for us. I'm gonna kill this. If there's any patrols, just try and dodge them. Um, I think this is the main culprit, but yeah, just stand where you are now here, as far south as you can, and I'm gonna kill it like there. 